contested split decision light heavyweight matchup. Split decision. Another one. Yeah, he's rocked. Looking down, he's eating some shots here. What an upset this would be. Leon Brass as he's tearing up there. Very good. Right hand connects there for DeVars. Oh, oh. Right, right hand, and that is a knockdown. Clean as a whistle for well, Philippe well. Micheletti. We next turn to the light heavyweight ranks of glory and a contender bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Philippe Michalacci and Luis Tavares. what people think about me, you know. I'm very outspoken. Some people can mistake that as being arrogant. Some people like it, some people don't. All of my opponents, they are really just standing in my way. They're just there to get beat by me. Here's our tale to take for this, a number one. This light heavyweight matchup scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. As an amateur world and Pan American champion, he's also a Brazilian heavyweight champion. His record, 16 wins with eight losses, five of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet four and one half inches tall, 1.94 meters, he weighed in officially at 209.4 pounds and even 95 kilograms. He's here in Rotterdam tonight, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, Felipe! The White Tiger, Miguelacci! His opponent fighting out of the white corner. A European champion in two separate divisions. His professional record impressive. 63 wins with just eight losses. 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three and one half inches, 1.92 meters. He weighed in at 209.4 pounds and even 95 kilograms. Fighting tonight in front of his hometown crowd in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, the infamous Luis Tavares. The referee in charge of this bout once again, Mikaela Kova Kova. Center. Follow the girly grooves and my command. Okay, good luck and stand back. Luis Tavares, the infamous versus the white tiger, Felipe Micheletti. And by the way, there is now a baby white Judges. tiger in the family round. of Micheletti. Yeah, I think uh, a COVID baby. I think a year and a half ago, he had his second child. So here we go, the winner gets a world title shot. Micheletti in the white trunks, Tavares in the black. What do you expect to see differently this time from Tavares? Well, Tavares in his last camp talked about trying to mix in back his kicks and knees a little bit more. He got a little bit more boxing focus, so I think we'll see him mix those kicks and knees a little bit more this time around. The 
Shaletti pretty active from the opening bell. Tavares, one of those fighters, when he lets his hands go, when he's throwing those power shots, he puts his entire body into it. Yeah, I said one of his keys is boxing rhythm, and watch how he puts his combinations together. It'll be touch, touch, uppercut, touch, touch, hook. That, that's a sweep to me, but... Micheletti with good combinations back, I like that. Kick-based attack so far for the Brazilian. That deep right hook from Tavares. Got Micheletti's guard to drop a little bit. And another good thing you see from Tavares is he takes subtle angles that you don't even notice sometimes. Very intelligent with his angling. And it looks like Tavares is using the calf kick there. I actually mentioned that to you this week, saying I don't, I'm not sure why we don't see them a lot more in kickboxing. Certainly seeing them a lot more in MMA. There's yeah. another one. Yeah, that's uh, one of his strategies for sure. You got to think, even as kickboxers, it happens less, you know, leg kick finishes. But the calf doesn't get conditioned. We take them on the quad, but... Oh, nice high kick there from Micheletti. Stop! 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 Oh, and that was after hey. the referee stop. said stop twice. She might deduct a point. Or needs Stand a back. firm warning for sure. Stand back. No fight after stop. I said three commands. Warning. Official warning. Yes, official warning. Official warning, white corner. Time, fight! She's yelling stop from about five feet away, Joe. Obviously, you can see her size, but don't you want a referee to get in there and put contact on the, the fighter's hands and tell him to stop? Well, I mean, the verbal cue should work, but I mean, when you're mid-combination, sometimes it needs someone to step in. Well, they say defend yourself at all times, but when the referee's yelling stop multiple times, what are you going to do? It's definitely a strategy for the Tavares camp for that calf. It almost looked like Tavares got rocked there. That's better from Micheletti. Micheletti kind of stays with that high guard, so when he moves his head, it's a little bit better for him. Nice counter back from Micheletti, but He's got to get off those ropes. And that looked like another sweep again. After then, immediately strike. No move. Stand I would up. say this one was more Fight. of a strike than the first Stop. one. Stop. Time is over. Luis Tavares. He's won four of his last five, but again, Joe, still looking for that elusive knockout. He thinks he can get it tonight, but Micheletti, one tough customer. Micheletti, the white tiger. Signature strike that rear uppercut. I like the way he uses his kicks very well. And even training for this camp, he's trained a lot with Alex Pereira preparing for this. But he did take this fight on shorter notice. Tavares was originally scheduled to fight Maslaboyev, but when the opportunity came for Micheletti, he jumped right on it. Stop! 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 Time. Stop! So the late hit with a verbal warning. Who did you edge that first round to? I think Tavares, to be honest with you. Stop! Uh, the way he's hitting, no Micheletti Second moving fight. back a little too much. Fight. Staying shelled up. If Felipe wants to steal these rounds, in my opinion, he needs to come and be first. Come forward like this. Bring that technical pressure. Like that, there you go. Good head movement by Tavares. Yep, those are those subtle angles I talk about. That head movement, that slipping. Beautiful. Stop. Don't touch the rope, please. Come back. Fight! Good low kick there from Micheletti. Yeah, you can see when Micheletti's against the ropes, he doesn't do as well. But when he comes forward, a lot of 9 9 rounds again. Stop. I think some of those judges. 
Thanks. took the verbal warning as a point deduction. That's the only way you could describe it. I, I, I don't understand. I, I really, I can't even explain it to you. I think in the five years I've been calling fights, I've maybe seen one nine nine. Tonight I've seen. That's what happened. That, that's the only way you could explain it. I mean, I don't really. S it was a close round, but still, I would think most of the. There, it's a ten point must system. Yeah, must. <laughs> but if you deduct a point, I get it. But a point was not deducted to my knowledge. Either way, Tavares has some work to do. Yeah, Tavares slick with that head movement. Counter and back. That boxing is nice of Tavares. Micheletti countering back with as much power as he can. Tavares trying to escape. Leaning that head way back, which can sometimes cost you. Now usually, if you're a kicker, when a fighter boxes really well and he moves his head a lot, that's your opportunity to chop the legs. Spinning back kick, nobody home. <laughs> a cheeky back, little left hand there from Tavares. At that point, he knew Micheletti was going to launch in with something, so has to put something out there. Yeah. Even for Micheletti, I think putting punch-to-kick combinations together would be a good strategy. Because right now, he's either single-kicking or just boxing. Micheletti just missing with that high kick. Oh, good right hand from Tavares. Got him clean. The stick and move working right now for Tavares. Collision three on its way, October 23rd. And guess who's back in the kickboxing world? Alistair Overeem, who's not taking a warm up fight, Joe. He's jumping right into the deep end of the pool, squaring off against perhaps the greatest heavyweight of all time. Glory's heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven. Yeah, that's a, a crazy fight when you think about it. What Overeem has done in the UFC, who he's fought to take on our champ over here. It's a fantastic fight. Taking place in the Helgra Dome in Arnhem. Tickets on sale beginning September the 14th at glorykickboxing.com. We actually called fights with Overeem in Collision 1. Indeed it is, the final round. Tavares seems to be getting the better of the White Tiger thus far. All five judges scoring that 10-9. The totals, there they are. Basically, Micheletti has got to win this round. Nice counter right for Tavares, who really, who really seems to have found his tempo in this fight. Yeah, but he's, he's comfortable with his head movement. He's mixing in his angles, countering well. When he's relaxed like this is when he's dangerous. Caught him with a quick little right hand on the inside, and again, the boxing of Tavares. Stop, stop. Don't touch the rope, please, okay? Fight. Yep, back to those low kicks from Micheletti. Deep breaths from Ooh. Micheletti, who's Ooh. eating big power punches to the face. Fatigue, a major issue right now. Spinning back fist for Tavares. See, this is what kind of Micheletti needed to do a little bit earlier, start putting his punches and kicks together, move forward. But Tavares is just the master of distance. Axe kick attempt there by Micheletti. Bringing in some Andy Hoog styles in. It gives us a big smile and a wink over here in the corner. He's having a good time in there at least. For now. Oh! 
My knee. And Bates, Micheletti looks back. completely Go gassed out, and yet he's back. still Fight pulling this. off all these kicks and knees. And he's active, he's jumping, he's kick fighting, you know, his best round for his kicks. Well, he's still in this round, Joe. <laughs> if he wins this, it's almost a, a draw fight then, right? Or it'll be a, a majority draw. I don't know. Oh, that oh. buckled the knees. I'm not sure how hurt he was. Seemed like he was off balance a little Stand bit. It almost Stand looked back. like the ropes may have held Stand him up, too. That could have easily been a knockdown. But good call not calling it. Oh, oh, overhand right for Tavares. The winner of this gets a world title shot. Micheletti knows this. So too does Tavares. A couple of oh. parting shots from Tavares. And that will do it. Good not a, scrap. Not a bad round for Micheletti either. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see with that 9-9 first round. Curious. I'm keeping quiet for this one. Nice with you. That's how you fucking win a fight. Yeah. Some of highlights from this light heavyweight showdown. Yeah, and I really like Tavares' work. To three rounds of kickboxing, we once again go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. One of our judges scores the bout 29-28. Three judges score it 29-27. And our fifth and final judge has the bout 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Luis Tavares! Well, in the end, Joe, the right guy won, and yep. he won it by a unanimous decision. Congratulations to the infamous Luis Tavares, who picks up his 64th professional win. Mark Schaaf now with the interview. <laughs> Almost knocked you out eh, with the microphone. <laughs> Luis, you settled the score with uh, Felipe. What do you think of your fight, man? It can, I didn't understand you. Uh, what do you think of your performance? You settled the score with Felipe. Yeah, I asked. It was a, it was a wonderful performance. Uh, I wanted to push the action this time, which I really did. And uh, for me, sky's the limit. Yeah, what, what, think, uh, what do you think gave you the favor with the judges? Serious? Uh, <laughs> my, my forward drive. I kept the pressure on him, uh, yeah, all three rounds. And now can I say, can I say my thank yous? Yeah, almost, eh? Are you yeah. looking forward to the championship fight? Definitely, definitely. I want the title now, definitely. Uh, and now, Ruud, support up. This is for you. I know that you're watching. So, thank you for your support. And uh, two other things. I, for, I almost forgot somebody. Edwin, McDonald's Cold Single Warbea. This is also for you. And two other things. I dedicate this victory to two people. Or one, the whole city of Waterdam, stand up. This is for you, this is for you. And to a dear friend of my colleague, Robin van Roosmalen, who had a tough time, uh, I dedicate this video for you, brother. Take care. Wonderful. Everybody give it up for your winner, Luis Tavares. Thank you. <laughs>